Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Woo! I'm gassed for this one. I am gassed. I love Christmas. Everything about Christmas. Yo, what's good everyone? Thank you for tuning in to today's video. If you're new around here, my name is Aiden, and to kick off this festive season, for the very first time since we started this channel, we actually have a Christmas sneaker to actually review for you guys today. Now, every year since I started this channel, I've actually wanted to review a Christmas-inspired sneaker, but Christmas is such a busy time, nine times out of ten, that I normally don't find the time. But I thought, sod that, we broke out my favourite Christmas jumper, the Grinch jumper. And with that, we have the Adidas Forum Law, the Grinch. So I'm dead excited to get into this one. Don't want to hold you up on the intro. So sit back, relax, and let's go ahead and get straight into this video. So first things first, just like we always do before we get into the shoes, let's just start this off with the packaging. And the packaging for this shoe is just an experience in itself. Absolutely incredible. Definitely adds to the value of the release. And we're gonna go through all the little details all the way throughout this box because the packaging is just absolutely crazy. So on the front of the box, we do have the Grinch hand holding the Adidas bauble. Very, very nice in my opinion. On the sides of the boxes, we then have Grinch's face. There he is, just peeking at you. And then on the back portion of the box itself, we do have the size label. Now the label reads Forum Law, the Grinch, and this is a UK nine and a half personal size for me. And it's in the Suck Call S Green Red colorway. Now this is the size label for anyone who wants to check that out. So hopefully that'll focus so you can see that. There it is, it should hopefully be enough time. Now the, the box itself is opened by a pull drawer. As soon as you open it up, the first thing you are gonna see is that we do have some additional insoles in there, which is absolutely crazy. So I'll try and figure out a way for you guys to see that. Hopefully I'll focus on the insoles and not the actual me. Uh, we do also have the tags. I will be honest, I've already had these shoes out. I couldn't wait to see them. And then on the inside of the box itself, we do have this really nice tissue paper. So we also have some Grinch detailing on there as well. Again, hopefully that'll focus. Now, one of the things that I really love about this one is the fact that the shoes do come individually wrapped. So, if we peel back this tissue paper, on the inside, here we have the individually wrapped shoes. But we didn't come for the packaging, we didn't come for the tissue paper, so let's go ahead and get straight into the shoes. Quick sip of dad fuel before we get going. Let's go. So just diving straight into this one, starting out with the upper to begin with. And for this one, we do have a true Christmas classic featuring these hues of titular green and yellow in this hurry suede construction to mimic the Grinch himself. The Dr. Zeus classic is only the latest iteration of a long line of pop culture related collaborations with Adidas. We recently saw the Home Alones, as I was mentioning a little bit earlier. We're also going to be getting the Home Alone 2s at some point in December as well. We recently saw the South Park Towelies, we had Homer Simpson, Mars Simpson collaborations, and a whole bunch of other ones as well. So Adidas is definitely taking us down that really long nostalgic path. And with this one, there was just something about it that called out to me the minute that I saw it. And all the little Easter eggs that you get, not only just with the packaging, but with the shoe itself, just completely blew my mind. Now we will be breaking down all the little intricate details as we work our way throughout. So if we kick this off from the front of the shoe and then we'll gradually work our way back. At the base of the shoe, we do have that yellow colored long haired suede with the perforations that you usually see on the Adidas Forum Low. And then wrapping around the toe box on the overlays, we do have this titular green long haired suede once again. Now the quality of suede is probably one of the more surprising things about the shoe. I feel like I've been saying that a lot in my more recent videos where the quality of the shoes are, just seems to be getting a lot better. Whereas in the past, I would normally maybe associate quality with price points. So the higher the price I'm paying, the, more, the better the quality I expect. And then the lower the price I'm paying, almost the lower the quality I'm expecting. I really don't know what I was expecting with this. I really didn't expect much of it to be completely honest, but when I got this out of the box, the, the, the first thing I noticed was just how nice and rich the color was. Now it's not a soft suede or anything like that. It's a long haired suede, which I think over time could end up matting and end up looking a little bit dingy. But considering this is to replicate the Grinch, I don't feel like it's supposed to be perfect. And I feel like it's supposed to look a little bit worn, a little bit haggard. 
And that's definitely something that I thought that, you know, they executed very well on the shoe itself. So again, the color, the quality, absolutely no complaints from me. But as we then work our way into the midfoot portion, at the base, just like what we saw with the toe box, we do have more of that long curved yellow suede. And then in the middle of the midfoot itself, on both the lateral and medial sides, we do have the Adidas three stripe branding. On the lateral side of both of the shoes, as we move towards the back end, we then have that Adidas emblem on there as well. And as we reach the heel, it's just more of the same in terms of that long curved green suede. Again, like we've seen on the overlay throughout the rest of the shoe itself. Now, when it does come to the lacing options for this one, we do actually get a few different options. Now, the lace that you get in the shoes to begin with are your neon colored flat shoelaces, which do actually come with these lace clips on there as well, which does include a smiley Grinch, a frowny Grinch, some presents as well as Max on there as well. But if like me and you're not really feeling the neon laces, you do actually get two additional sets as well. So you could go with the red laces, which to be honest is my personal favorite and is the one I'm probably gonna go with. But if you're not really feeling the red laces, we do have a second set of green laces as well, which is probably a slightly closer color match to what we actually see on the rest of the upper. But I feel like considering this is a Christmas shoe that I'm only ever really gonna wear in the Christmas season, going the whole way and just sticking the red laces in there is probably the best way to go for me. I'd like to get your guys' opinion on that before I make any kind of mistakes. Do let me know all of your thoughts about the laces in the comment section down below. Are you sticking with neon? Are you going with the other green ones? Or are you like me, you're thinking of the red ones? Again, let me know in the comment section down below. And then beneath the laces themselves, we do have more of that really nice yellow long curd suede on the tongue itself. As we then work our way up the laces to the top of the tongue, this for me is probably my least favorite feature on this entire shoe. And it's my least favorite thing about the forum lows is the strap. I kind of was almost hoping you could take it off, but unfortunately you can't. It's actually stuck onto the actual side wall of the shoe itself. Why? But at the end of the day, it's just kind of one of those things that I'm just gonna kind of have to learn to live with. I knew about it going into it, so it's really no surprise. It's just one of those things that I just don't really like. And then beneath the lace strap itself, we do have some mismatched branding on the tongue tags. So with this right foot, we do have the Grinch's eyes looking a little bit menacing. And then on the left foot, we do have that Adidas branding. I kind of like the fact they've given us some mismatch options. I definitely think it was a really nice look for the shoe. And again, we do also have another really nice detail on the left foot. Now, just like what we saw with the box, we do have the Grinch hand detail holding the Adidas bauble. Again, it's just a really nice detail for the shoe. And then when it comes to the inside of the shoe itself, we do have more of that really nice green color on this thick padded sock liner. Another one of the more surprising features about the shoe is how nice the padding actually is. Didn't expect it, especially when you compare this to other similar models from the time period. So for example, like an Air Force One, a New Balance 550, a Dunk. The padding on this is probably up there as one of the better ones. It feels really nice and soft to the touch. So hopefully it should be a really nice, comfortable option on feet. And then as we work our way onto the inside of the shoe, we do have our first set of insoles. So the insoles that actually come in the shoe is the Grinch's face with a really nice smile. But as I was showing you a little bit earlier on, I will just give you a quick close up at the two other insoles as well. So again, another option to do some mismatch if you're kind of liking that mismatch vibe that we saw with the tongue. Again, just a really nice detail for the shoe itself. Now, as we do work our way back onto the outside of the shoe, I will be completely honest, I'm not entirely sure what the actual technology is in terms of the midsole cushioning. Feels a little bit like foam. And as we do actually take a look at the medial side, we do have a small cutout area where you can actually see the foam actually inside the midsole does also have this red stitching pattern on there as well. So if anybody can kind of explain to me what the actual cushioning is on the inside of the shoe, I would definitely appreciate that in the comments. It is very comfortable on feet. I did sit down and actually try these on before I sat down to do the review. And the comfort's there. It's nothing immediately comfortable. If you're comparing it to 2022 technology, it's far and away not as good. But just for everyday kind of mooching around, just going to the shops and what have you, this is definitely a pretty comfortable option. And as we then work our way onto the outsole of the shoe, again, we do have more of those neon accents with that really nice pop of red underneath the forefoot as well. Very nice in my opinion. Now, when it does come to the sizing options for these, I did have to go a half size up. Now, last year I did actually get, as I mentioned earlier, the Home Alone forums. And I think the main reason I didn't do the review is because I got a size nine and they didn't fit, which was very, very upsetting for me at the time. So I decided to rectify that with a nine and a half and these fit me absolutely perfectly. So if like me, you are a wide footer, I would definitely suggest a minimum of at least a half size up. If you are a narrow footer or if you just like a slightly tighter fit, going true to size should be absolutely fine. Unfortunately, I do believe that these are actually currently sold out at the moment. So you might find it a little bit difficult to actually try before you buy. But if you could try any other Adidas Forum Law and they are absolutely available everywhere, that will definitely be the best option to make sure you are getting the correct sizing for you. 
And then outside of that, we've covered everything that you need to know. So if we now just go ahead and just wrap up this video. So just to wrap up this video, so you guys can get out of here, in terms of my overall opinion on the shoe itself, to give these a rating, I'm gonna say that these are a really solid eight out of 10, from the quality of the materials, to the craftsmanship, to the quality control, which on my pair was absolutely exceptional. There's honestly a lot to love about this one. You then add in the little intricate details like the lace clips, the extra laces, extra insoles, the box packaging, the individually wrapping, and then on top of that, the price point of £100. There's honestly so much to love about this shoe at such a little cost, just when you compare it to a lot of other releases out there. So I'm absolutely made up that I was able to get these. It is unfortunate that they are sold out at the moment, but I am hoping that over the course of December, they will restock. So for anyone who's watching that does want a pair, hang in there. I do expect that hopefully down the line, these should be pretty readily available. Now that's pretty much all I really have to say about it. I'm dead pleased to add these into the collection. Can't wait to wear these on Christmas day with the matching jumper. So if you have any thoughts about it, let me know what your rating is. Let me know what you think of mine and any of your other thoughts, leave all of them in the comment section down below. And if you have stuck around to this point in the video, as always, I just want to say a massive thank you. If you haven't already, please feel free to smash that subscribe button. Also do make sure the bell notification is switched on so you never miss a video. And I hope to see you all again in the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.